The match just ended, and Levon put on a masterclass. In the first round, Levon Low gripped Jerry, but he only finished him with a second surge. Jerry was able to stop Levan to some degree. This round was similar to Jerry's match against Hermes. In the second round, Levan again gripped Low from the wrist line and repeated the same strategy he used in round one. It was essentially the same approach that Hermes used against Jerry. In the third round, they went into the referee's grip as Levan was moving and cupping so much. After the go, Levan hit before the referee's signal and received a warning. However, Jerry looked better in this round. Once the match restarted, Levon did the same thing, only harder, supinating, and cupping. In the fourth round, Levon gripped low again and pinned Jerry, but it didn't count because Jerry fouled. After the restart, Jerry fouled again, and Levan claimed the victory, as usual. It was the shortest match of the event. The match began with Levan immediately imposing his strength. Using his hook, he stopped Jerry's opening press and transitioned into a dominant position. Despite Jerry's efforts to generate side pressure, Levon's control was too strong. Levon's win showcased his preparation and ability to counter Jerry's press. His hook, hand control, and adaptability allowed him to dominate the match, reinforcing his status as one of the strongest arm wrestlers in the sport. Levan attempted to use a low grip to block Jerry's press and neutralize his triceps. However, Jerry's ability to force his forearm closer to his bone line allowed him to generate immense side pressure. 